is up welcome back to my channel or if you're new hello my name is Kayla also known as double K0711 but after this video I might become diabetic K0711 <laughs> oh that'd be funny but no we're not gonna do that in today's video you guys saw by the title I'm gonna be doing a college what I eat in a day but as a type 1 diabetic if you guys did not know um, I have the diabetes <laughs> No, uh, for real, I have type 1 diabetes, and if you guys don't know, totally fine. I didn't know for about 18 years, so uh, now you know. That's a thing. But I just wanted to show you guys what I eat throughout the day. Just to, one, show you guys what you can eat as a college student, because usually if you are living in the dorms, you are on some sort of meal plan, and there's also the assumption that you only have burgers, pizza, fries as your options, so that everybody gains the freshman 15. So I'm here to show you guys that that is not necessarily true, at least not for the majority. Other people can't say the same for, but majority, you're fine. Um, and then also as a type 1 diabetic, because although there are a lot of great options, it's slightly harder to find healthier options just in general, because a lot of the things are pasta and stuff with high carbs. And before we get into this video, I just want to say that I'm the type of diabetic that loves pasta, loves sweets, and I will just take my insulin for them. That's kind of my motto. I am personally not on any sort of low carb diet or exercise routine to keep my blood sugar low. Not only do I want this video to relate to other diabetics out there, but also just to inform the non-diabetics that I can still eat whatever the heck I want because I've been told by many, many people that I should not have pasta, I should not have carbs, I should not have pizza, I should avoid sweets and all that kind of stuff. And um, although a lot of them are just trying to be helpful and look out for me, um, I'm the diabetic one. Um, so I'll eat what I want kind of thing. And then also I'm going to be monitoring on my phone my blood sugar levels. So I have the Dexcom app. So I have the Dexcom G5 on my leg. But then around November, I'm gonna switch out for something a bit cheaper because this thing is super expensive and I'm not really a fan of it. But for now, I'm gonna be tracking my blood sugar throughout the day just to prove to all you guys that like, yes, you can maintain a healthy level. And just for you guys that don't know, your normal blood sugar level should be anywhere from 70 to 100. And for me, I can range from anything to like 45 to 200. So that's a pretty wide range. I've definitely been able to like close it in a little bit. But I just want to share with you guys because I want to prove to my aunt and my father that yes, I am monitoring my diabetes in college and that I am doing just all right. So right now I'm actually at 81 and I'm going a bit low because I haven't had anything to eat. So I'm probably going to grab a snack and then I have class. So let's go. Alright guys, so I'm going to be honest, I usually skip breakfast because I, for the most part, have later classes, although today I did have a class at 9.30 and I did grab a bagel, but I just forgot to show it because I didn't decide to make this video until now, but currently it is 1.43 and I have class in like 20 minutes. I'm not going to have the chance to have a full meal until after this class, so up here I just keep a bin full of snacks because I'm a snack kind of gal. And I don't really know what I want to eat. There's little like chips here. I love chickpeas. The one thing that is like my weakness, I love having like chips and I really like things that are crunchy, but obviously chips have carbs. And although chickpeas do too, chickpeas just in general are more healthy than potato chips. So I think I'm just gonna have some of these. And for the diabetics out there, this has 17 grams of carbs and there are four servings per per container, so I'm probably just gonna take some insulin for this and um, eat it on my way to class. With the Dexcom, you have alarm set on your phone that can go off if, you're, if your blood sugar is high or low or if the monitor signal turns off for some reason. So I have everything turned off except the urgent low because I just, it's impossible to turn off and you're not allowed to because it's a medical device and I get, you know, it's safe and everything, but like it just annoys me sometimes. So that's one of the reasons why I'm switching to a different company after this monitor expires. But this is just the sound that will play in class every 30 minutes um, if I don't eat. Which really isn't that bad, but it used to be this. I get the safety mechanism in it, but I just find them really annoying. So I'm gonna eat and uh, see you guys when I have late lunch. I almost finished all of them. Hi guys, so I just got out of class and I'm super hungry because I really haven't had much to eat in the past couple hours other than those little chickpea popper chip things. So, it's not even windy, what the heck. 
Um, I'm gonna go to Strad's dining hall right now and I'm gonna go get a salad because honestly, I know I said I love like unhealthy foods too, but this is probably one of my favorite meals to eat on campus. Oh, there's police cars. Oh, that's fun. So I'll see you guys when I get there. All right guys, I just got my salad. For my salad, I usually take about eight units of insulin just because I have a lot of fruit in here as well. So I'm not gonna show you guys me injecting myself. In here I have grapes, chickpeas, usually I have chicken in here, but they don't have any today, which sucks. Olives, carrots, stuff like that. Done. Hi guys, I just got back from lunch, but I'm gonna have a quinoa cookie because I can. These are one of my favorite cookies on campus because they're considered one of the like healthier cookies because it is quinoa and chocolate. And we actually make these at the bakery where I work. So um, half the time my boss lets me take like an entire tray of them home, which is so nice. So I already kind of ate all those. So uh, I gotta wait till I go to work tomorrow. <laughs> and then as you guys can see, that high was actually from breakfast. So ignore that one, but I've actually been pretty stable the past couple hours, even with the salad and everything. So we're doing good. Now you guys are kind of balanced on my bean bag. <laughs> okay, so it is a little bit later after lunch. It is currently, 4.45, so I usually like to snack throughout the day. And like I said earlier, this is like my bin of snacks. One of my favorites, like I said, I love chickpeas. So I get these all the time and I just get them in different flavors. This one is the habanero. Somewhere in here, I thought I had a uh, honey something. Other things that I like are roasted broad bean crisp. Again, I like crunchy things. So these are like my alternatives for chips. And then to get into the chocolate that I love because I'm a chocolate lover, what can I say? I'm not a big sweet person, but if I am, I do like chocolate. So these are the Vienna dark chocolate chickpea snacks. So again, I love chickpeas. If you guys want to send me anything, family, friends, just give me chickpeas for any event, any holiday, and I'll be satisfied. Some other stuff that I really like are these real raspberry freeze dried dark chocolate things these are pretty similar to the brookside chocolates with pomegranates inside these are more crunchy but i also really like the chewy ones as well but um i ate all those so there's that and then i also really like bark thins this is just the dark chocolate pretzel with sea salt one and um they're just delicious like i don't know what else to say about them i have dark chocolate nom noms <laughs> Again, I love my chocolate. I'm definitely a snacker. I'm also a lover of cheese sticks. Maybe you guys will find that out later, but I'm a fan of cheese sticks, and also I'm in Wisconsin, so like, I have to like cheese, right? <laughs> I have food in my teeth. That's nice. <laughs> All right, guys, so currently it is around six o'clock, so I'm gonna go to Strass to get some stir fry for dinner. I would say Strass is my favorite place to dine on campus, so if you guys wanna see another what I eat in a day, but going to the other dining halls, I'll definitely do that. But this one is definitely gonna be like what I actually like legit eat in a day. And it's honestly, lunch is always a salad and then dinner is always stir fry because I just really like it. And they're yummy and it's the healthier dining hall on campus. So there's that. But we do have like four or five other dining halls. So if you guys want me to do more what I eat in a day is and go to those dining halls just to show you guys the different options. Or if you're planning on applying to Marquette and want to see the food options, because I know, I know food is a very important thing on somebody's bucket list for applying to schools. So I'll be sure to do that. But right now we're gonna go get some stir fry. Hi, can I do chicken please? And then everything on this side but mushrooms. Honestly, my favorite dinner ever. So for dinner, I'm having stir fry. This is also one of my favorite meals to have. So I just have chicken, baby carrots, sorry, baby corn, baby carrots, broccoli, and of course, some water chestnuts. And for this one, I usually take about 12 units of insulin just because there is the rice in there and the sauces. So I'm gonna eat this and I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, 
all done. So I just got back from Straz. I had my stir fry, which was so freaking good. I love it so much. I always get the same exact thing in it every single time. No, I'm not one to change it up. But I'm probably gonna end the vlog here just because if I do snack at night, I actually stole, I think this is a, I think this is a plum. Is this a plum? This is definitely a plum, right? I think this is a plum. Oopsies. Um, what I was saying before, usually if I do a snack at night, usually I try to have a little thing of fruit and then a cheese stick. And I'm gonna be honest. Hold on, I got pulled out. Is this them? No, it's not. Is this it? No, it's not. Where is it? What the heck? Here it is. I will say. Sorry. Usually, dead honest, if I do snack at night, I've actually really been liking Takis lately. I don't know why, but this is like the second bag. My roommate for next year was actually at Target the other day, and I texted her, and I was like, yo, do you wanna do me a solid and grab me some Takis? So she did, she was awesome, and honestly, that was like four days ago, and um, there's not much left in this bag. So honestly, that's what I snack on at night. It's those, a cheese stick, and some sort of fruit if I have it in my fridge, aka if I steal it from a dining hall, because saving money guys not going to shopping <laughs> anywho I hope you guys all enjoyed my what I eat in a day and make sure to comment below what is your favorite meal to eat of all time or if you're a fellow diabetic let me know down below make sure to thumbs up this video if you guys liked it and subscribe down below for more college videos maybe diabetic videos if this was even interesting to you guys also by the way my blood sugar is normal still so ha huh? hmm. ha huh? still under 100 me. I'm probably gonna be vlogging super super soon because this upcoming weekend I'm going on a fall vacation and then pretty soon I have somebody special coming into town so I'll be sure to vlog with them. Alright, bye guys!